That's a lot of sand. Not compared to stars, according to Carl Sagan. The total number of stars in the universe is larger than all the grains of sand on all the beaches. No way! Let's prove him wrong. Time to experiment. First, let's find out how many grains of sand in one cubic centimeter. We did this five times for an average of eight grains in one centimeter. Warning! Warning! Year 9 maths! So one cubic centimeter is eight cubed or 512 grains of sand. So one cubic meter is one million cubic centimeters and therefore contains 512 million sand grains. Now for beaches. We estimated Australia's coastline was about 20,000 kilometers. Don't forget Tassie! Google agreed with us. But we have beachless cliffs and mangroves. So we'll assume only 80% is beach. That gives us 1.6 by 10 to the 7th meters of beach. We'll assume an average beach is 20 meters wide and 10 meters deep. We estimate our beach volume to be 3.2 billion cubic meters. Earth's beaches are about 100 times ours. This gives about 1.6 by 10 to the 20th grains of beach sand. Now for stars. Astronomers estimate that our average sized Milky Way galaxy has 200 billion stars. And our expanding universe has at least 400 billion such galaxies. So we multiply to get about 8 by 10 to the 22 stars. Oh wow, Carl Sagan was right! We estimated 500 times more stars than beach sand. Stars win! Beats